Good afternoon. Your graduate has asked that you treat this exercise with the utmost respect. Every graduate deserves to hear his or her name announced. Please refrain from using any noisemakers, horns, bells, yells, or any other distractors that are not conducive to maintaining the dignity and grandeur of this event. We ask that you hold your applause and congratulatory yells until after all names have been called so that the next name called can be clearly heard. Your assistance will help provide the very best graduation for each student. Thank you in advance for your cooperation to ensure a dignified graduation ceremony. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise for the pledge given by Leo Sanchez, immediately followed by the opening led by Kobe Frazier. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. You may be seated. Good afternoon. My name is Colby Frazier, and it is my honor to welcome the family and friends of our graduating class to the 2018 Kathleen Joy Gillum Collegiate Academy Commencement Ceremony. On behalf of the class of 2018, I want to thank all of you here today for joining us in celebrating this joyous occasion. To my fellow classmates, looking back at our journey here today, we have all come so incredibly far and we have learned so much in the process. So I want to say to you all, congratulations. Now, would everyone please join me and stand while we take a final moment of silent thanks and reflection together as the class of 2018. Thank you, you may be seated. Class of 2018, congratulations, we did it. Again, good afternoon, and welcome to the 2018 commencement exercise for the Kathleen Joy Gillum Collegiate Academy. I am Gail Ferguson Smith, the proud principal of this educational community. We are honored that you have chosen to share this very important occasion with us. I am further honored to introduce those seated on this platform this afternoon. On my left, in the front row, we have school board trustee of District 6, Joyce Foreman. Assistant, Assistant Superintendent, Leslie Stevens. Executive Director of the Carter Feeder Pattern, Earl Jones. Assistant Principal, Suzanne Nicholson. And Counselor, Monica Crawford. Seated on the floor on my left is our announcer for the afternoon, teacher, Ms. Nina Gates. Starting on my right, we have our class representative, Vanessa Larez, salutatorian, Adora Bemi, Olson Jimmy, valedictorian, Juan Daniel Roman, class representative, Colby Frazier, and 
class representative, Leo Sanchez. I would like to recognize and acknowledge one of the best, best staffs in the Dallas Independent School District. What all teachers, staff members, former staff, and former administrators of the Kathleen Joy Gillum Collegiate Academy, please stand. You may be seated. This is the sixth graduating class of Gillum Collegiate Academy. Would any alumni or former students of Kathleen Joy Gillum Collegiate Academy please stand? If there are members of the Kathleen Joy Gillum family, would you please stand? You are present here today. Will the parents, family members, and community supporters of the senior class of 2018 please stand? Seniors, you can do better than that. Give them a round of applause for their dedication, <laughs> prayers, blood, sweat, tears, and hard work in helping you get to this moment. Thank you all. I am proud to announce that this 2018 class of the Kathleen Joy Gillum Collegiate Academy has been offered a record-setting $4.7 million in scholarships, with more on the way. At this time, I would like to recognize all graduates who have been awarded scholarships. If you have been offered a scholarship, please stand. Thank you, you may be seated. Members of the National Honor Society, please stand. You may be seated. I would also like to recognize our one graduate who is enlisted in one of the branches of the military. If you have enlisted, please stand. As those who have served before you, we are grateful for your service to our country. Thank you, you may be seated. Carter Blood Care Center held two blood drives at Gillum this year. Seniors who donated blood twice at both drives are wearing red cords. Seniors, please stand if you donated blood twice to Carter Blood Care. Thank you. And finally, over half of this graduating class are participating in their second graduation ceremony. These 43 seniors have earned an associate's degree from Cedar Valley College and graduated on May the 10th. Would those seniors who earned associate's degrees please stand and be recognized? Thank you. You may be seated. Now, it is with great pride that I present the salutatorian for the class of 2018, Ms. Adurabemi Olson Jimmy. Blessing, as she is affectionately called, will now address the class. Good afternoon, family, friends, and faculty. 
My name is Adurag Bemi Oshinjimi, and it's a great privilege to be part of the 2018 graduating class of Kathleen Joy Gilliam Collegiate Academy. And I am deeply humbled to give this address. We are seated here as the class of 2018, a great milestone. We have accomplished something worth being proud of. From the struggles of classes and tests to the various administrations, we pulled through, coming out as blazing comets in the night sky. I congratulate you. Over the last four years, we have learned through the astonishing simplicity of the school, the value of togetherness. We have built closely knit relationships and long lasting relationships with our teachers. Helen Keller rightly said, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. And we prove that. We learn so much from our teachers. Ms. Bradford taught us how to love, care, and protect each other. Ms. Gates taught us that when there's no one, when you think there's no one, there's always going to be someone for you. And Mr. West taught us the proper way to dance the Cardi B. GCA has been the airline we have chosen to start this incredible journey that would get us to our destination. For example, when a pilot wants to get off the plane, off the tarmac, and into the air, they have to push the throttle to the max. Seat belts on, tray tables folded, and cell phones on player mode. Just pure focus and direction during takeoff. These four years have been our takeoff. And this graduation is us leaving the ground for the skies. When the pilot is in the air, he has to keep turning the plane, making several course corrections, checking the indicators and guides and communicating with the tower. And that's a simple message for us this afternoon. We've just begun our journeys in our life and we would definitely need lots of guidance, consistent course corrections, when we're in error and sticking close tightly with our friends, family and mentors so that we can get to our destination in a grand style landing. Most importantly, never stop learning. We will face lots of challenges out there. There will be winds and turbulences, but don't stop flying or you will crash. There's so many people I would love to appreciate today. I'm ultimately grateful to God for his love and favor to me. I appreciate everyone who has been on this amazing journey with me. And then there's my amazing mom who filled the gap of both parents and provided for me above and beyond my expectations. I love you. I'm very grateful for my mentors, Ms. Gates and Ms. Bradford, whose words framed me into the confident and positive lady that I am today. I'm also grateful to Ms. Crawford for helping me throughout these years with everything that I needed, especially college scholarship applications. Thank you. So now we're high school graduates. We've signed each other's yearbooks, and soon we will be saying goodbye. There will be emotional moments. My final thoughts? I hope that as we end this chapter in our lives, take off from the ground and fly into the sky, we keep our eyes focused on our destination and do everything we can to get there. I wish you all the best of the best. Con good luck and congratulations, class of 2018. Thank you. Thank you, Blessing. It is also with great pride that I present the valedictorian for the class of 2018. Juan Daniel Roman Morales, you may now address the class.
Good afternoon, everyone. Buenas tardes todos. I am Juan Daniel Roman, and I am the valedictorian and president of the class of 2018. I want to start by thanking all the family and friends that came to support the class of 2018 on such an important occasion. Class of 2018, we finally made it after four long years. And trust me when I say that it is an honor to represent you all on such an important occasion where we must say goodbye to each other for the last time. It is very inspiring to see you all in your cap and gowns today. And I am proud of each and every one of you. Where to begin? I recall freshman year when I did not talk to many of you because I was the new kid and I was afraid that I would never make any real friends. I admit that I was naive and I'm glad that I learned that lesson because my peers are a major reason of why I stand here today. I remember staying up late with my friends for APR history while finishing Dr. Bond's infamous flashcards. <laughs> And this year, when I spent countless hours in calculus for Mr. Trevino with my friends, making sure we got our work done and understood the content, mostly. I want to acknowledge the amazing friendships and connections we all made during these four years. Whether it is someone that lends you a helping hand, gives you advice, wants to have fun by making bad decisions, is always supportive, annoys you in every way possible, or sticks with you through the whole ride, I can generally say that I experienced all of this and I'm going to miss all my friends. Isabel, <laughs> I want to thank you for being my closest friend. <laughs> and at the end of the day, what matters is that we were all there for each other and we have made lifelong friends. And by my side, I always had my family who has supported me through my tough times and achievements. This is gonna be the hardest part to say. Um, papa y mamá, muchas gracias por su apoyo y espero que los haya hecho orgulloso. Mis sucesos son el resultado de sus lecciones y espero que entiendan que no podría estar aquí sin ustedes. También quiero agradecerles por inculcar a Dios en mi vida, porque sin mi Dios no estuviera aquí parado hoy. Abuelita, le quiero agradecer por viajar desde lejos para ver a su nieto consentido. And Carla, my sister, I want to thank you for being with me all these long nights of studying and talking to each other. You were vital to my success, and I thank you for being the role model that I needed. I took all the classes possible, even the dreaded college trigonometry and sociology. <laughs> but despite the challenges, I was able to rise. Just like the valedictorian of class of 2016 that you were, I am now the class of 2018 valedictorian. Thank you, dad, mom, and Carla, and abuelita. And thank you, my Lord, for being next to me through all this journey. Class of 2018, as you keep moving forward into the world, I want you to remember three things. One, I understand that college is not for everyone. But as long as you have a plan for your future, know that I will support you through every step of the way because there is no shame in that. Two, always fight for what is yours and never let anyone tell you what is not yours because the only one that can stop you from attaining anything is yourself. And three, never give up on your goals regardless of the standards we as minorities are given every day because I know we are all better than that and all we must do is prove those people wrong. And most importantly, never forget where you're from after you cross this stage. Looking back, I am glad that I chose to, 
come to this school because I met all of you who have impacted my life one way or another. Thank you, class of 2018, for making these four years memorable, and I wish each and every one of you the best of luck on the next phase of your lives. Have a great afternoon, and congratulations again, and may God bless you all. Thank you, Juan. At this time, we will have Vanessa Larez introduce our school board trustee, representing District 6, Joyce Foreman. Joyce Foreman was elected to the Dallas ISD Board of Trustees, representing District 6 in June of 2014. District 6 covers Southwest Dallas. As a business owner and community leader, Trustee Foreman has used her experience in education and the community to shape Dallas ISD District 6 and throughout the district where her efforts directly impact students, teachers, and staff. Trustee Foreman brings experience from a variety of education-related affiliations to the board. Most notably, she has served on the Dallas ISD Bond Advisory Committee since 2002. She is passionate about preparing our students to be the best and the brightest. Trustee Foreman has held other leadership positions in the district as a member of the Superintendent's Advisory Committee and the Commission on Educational Excellence. Providing decades of civic involvement to Dallas citizens, Trustee Foreman has previously served on the Greater Dallas Chamber Executive Committee as Vice Chair of Dallas Area Rapid Transit Board, Chase Bank of Texas Board, and El Centro College Office Career Advisory Committee. To Trustee Foreman, we say thank you for what you do for our community, and more importantly, what you do for our school. It is my distinct pleasure and honor to present to you Trustee Joyce Foreman, second vice president of the Dallas ISD Board of Trustees. Okay, forgive me, I'm a little excited. Uh, I actually worked with Kathleen Joy Gillum, the namesake for this school, who would be so overwhelmed to see all of you here today because she worked for a quality education for all children. So I am excited and forgive me. To the parents, staff, and family members, and of course, this awesome class of 2018. It is a great honor to join with you to celebrate this magnificent occasion. Graduates, for the past 12 years, you have been marching toward this very moment for a chance to reap the rewards of your labor. You have pushed onward through adversity, challenges, and incredible mountains and valleys. Yet, here you are today in the fullness of your accomplishments, which is no small feat by any means, and you should be very proud. As I look out at the many faces, I'm reminded that each of you is a separate story, a hope, a dream, a possibility, and a responsibility. As a Dallas ISD trustee, it is my hope that these years have been well spent and that your preparation will rise up and meet opportunity in every aspect of your life. Because when preparation meets opportunity, you have the perfect recipe for creating the life of your dreams. Be mindful of things that can deceive you because Sometimes opportunity can be disguised as hard work. So never be afraid to get in there and give it your absolute best again and again and again. The reward is always greater than the struggle, so keep pressing forward. Refuse to take the easy way out by living a life of mediocrity or just existing. 
dare to live an extraordinary life so that when you leave this earth, you will have made a difference. That is the responsibility that we all have to earn our place on this earth by our deeds and our actions. Avoid the mistake of believing that you are not talented enough, not rich enough, not smart enough to positively impact the world. Never underestimate the power of one. Each of you have the ability to change the world around you in some way. You can make a difference at multiple levels. Whether you create a nonprofit or business that will serve your community, whether you make time to mentor young children or develop a new power source for the entire globe, what you do for others will last long after you're gone. And you start by simply believing that you can make a difference. Then be courageous enough to step up to the plate and do the work. Yes, a life lived for self can bring accomplishments that benefit you and your family in remarkable ways. But a life lived for others can change the course of history. Don't be afraid to take that chance. I challenge you to dream great dreams for yourself and for others, then commit to making them come true. Imagine, if, one, if each one of you determines to change the world around you for the better, what an incredible impact this class of 2018 would have. Each one of you has that ability, and the world needs you, especially now. It needs your time, your energy, and your talent. So make it happen. To our parents, staff, and community, thank you for pouring so much of your energy into our children. You have done a great job, and I'm grateful to each of you for your dedication. Class of 2018, I applaud you. You did it. And this trustee never doubted that you could. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Foreman. Now I will ask Trustee Joyce Foreman and Assistant Superintendent Leslie Stevens to join me at the podium. <laughs> As principal of Kathleen Joy Gillum Collegiate Academy, I hereby affirm that each candidate has met all requirements for graduation as determined by the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District, and they are qualified to receive their diplomas, or they are otherwise qualified to participate in this graduation ceremony consistent with the laws of the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District. As Assistant Superintendent of the Dallas Independent School District, I am pleased to confirm the certification of the 2018 graduating class of Kathleen Joy Gillum Collegiate Academy. As a Dallas ISD trustee, and specifically the trustee for this area, District 6, I am pleased to award these diplomas, certifying that these students are graduates of the Dallas Independent School District. Candidates, please follow the directions of Ms. Bradford and Ms. Hawkins, your row leaders. Would the first row please rise and come forward to receive your diploma?
Liliana Durorte. Colby Victoria Frazier. Vanessa Isabel Laudez. Brianna Marie Lopez. Renaya Indica Millsap. Evelyn Negrete. Salutatorian Adurabeme Osenjimi. Valedictorian Juan Daniel Roman Morales. Isabel Acosta Panagua. Caleb Jamal Allen. Enrique Alvarado. Jair Alvarez. William David Anderson. Diamond Antoinette Bell. Kaylee Brown. Jennifer Cabrera. Nilsis Gabriela Canales. Roderick Wade Carr Delgado. Christopher Alexander Serda. Joel Chavez Gutierrez. Quinita Alize Coit. Eric Cornado. Michaela Shanice Craddock. Sierra Celeste Critz. Paige Monet Donson. Juvenile Del Olmo Rodriguez. Victor Hugo Esparza. Daniel Esquivel Martinez. Shanquela Lachelle Flanagan. Christopher Flores. Destiny Ford. Curtis Lee Frazier Jr. Taylor Gaddis. Leslie Garcia. Christian Alejandro Garcia Flores. Shronda Garth. Cameron Goffney. Helen Shanice Diane Green. Kirsten Gabriela Griffin. Michael Ray Hill. Victoria Alexis Houston. Heaven Nicole Ingram. Dominique Rashawn Jackson. Jonice Simone Jackson Leggins. Octavian Trey Johnson. Marquisha Jones. Dashane Sherelle Jones Murphy. Lino Rule. Faith Juanita McGee. Raul Maldonado. Aliyah Matthews. Cynthia Jasmine Mendoza Tamayo. Alexandra Mendoza. Ashley Nicole Mendoza. Christian Munoz Ave. Stephanie Ortiz. Eric Alejandro Paromo. Essence Michelle Parker. Vanessa Edith Penaloza. Leslie Giselle Ramirez. 
Giovanni Rangel Cruces. Micah Elijah Rice. Shakari Lene Richardson. DeAndre Dwayne Ridge. Patricia Rodriguez. Anna Lee Rubio. Jose Angel Sanchez Jr. Eric, Leo Eric Sanchez. Denise Silva. Gary Kermit Simmons III. Kiera Katrina Smart. Levi Smith III. Janae Raylan Spencer. Rakeem Carnell Starr. Rostin Jordash Taylor. Carla Villagran Barrios. Arion Charmaine Washington. Cameron Lenore West. Miles Jordan Wilmore. Javen Demontre Yeager. Class of 2018, I congratulate you on your accomplishments and urge you to continue each day as we do during the announcements to pause for a silent moment of thanks and reflection. Thanks for letting those of us surrounding you here today be a part of your life and a part of your great accomplishments. Continue to be great trailblazers and pace setters. Stay true to yourself as this is not an ending, but the beginning of another part of your life's journey. Class of 2018, please stand and move your tassel to the left side of your cap. Salute your parents and loved ones. Give them a wave. All right. And congratulations again at this time we will have closing meditations by Michael Hill. Good afternoon. Class of 2018, we are at the closing of this chapter and after today, we will go on to start the next. My only hope is that we continue to use the motivation that got us to this point to help guide us through our challenges in the future. We have been on quite a ride together and I know we will all do great things. So thank you, family, friends, and guests, and hats off to us, the class of 2018. Audience, please remain seated until the podium guests and graduates 
have exited the floor.